don't say I didn't warn you. You must be the messenger Selin sent, right? Right. Well, she asked that I give you this. I I interesting. Most interesting. Looks like I it's time Al Al Alima and I finally have our t t t talk. F finally, Leto will rule Bayan. And a uh, Alima will eat horse meat. Yes. But I'm going... I'm going to need a witness. Witness. Yes. Y you y You'll need to be there as well. M meet me at Alima's house. Y yes, th that'll be good. H here, take this writ of protection. It'll get you through the g gates. O on... On the path to Hatman ha Door, considered a bonus for for your assistance.
take advantage of high quality orc metallurgy and craftsmanship. Okay, we're all together now, so let's begin. Leto? What's going on here? You two know each other? Yes. Leto's my younger, mentally ill brother. Now what's this all about? I was trying to restore training arrangements between Bayan and Halhin, but it seems that Alton is only a puppet, and that the Mangano family is behind all this. They've agreed to resume trading, provided you step down. Who's gonna take my place? Leto? I'm sorry, sister, but, but your time is up. I, I have the full support of the M M Mangano family, and if you don't resign, you, you and your people will c c continue to, t to starve. Then I don't have much of a choice, do I? But don't be afraid, Alima. We'll take great care of your p people. If I only knew then what I do now. I wish we'd never met.
stay down. Yeah! 
Stay down. Miss me? <laughs> Good. This leads.
shipment just arrived from aspiring young craftsmen. Don't get left with last year's wares. Be ahead of the times and trolling those meeting the toughest standards of quality and value. Let me be your personal help and take... One regression, 500 ores. What do you mean, regression? Old memories, bad habits, phobias. All these prevent us from experiencing the best of life. So, you help people to forget things? No. There is difference. I unfetter their potential, enable them to be more effective and focused. I don't need- When you are ready? Welcome, friend. Please take all the time you need. Happy to be of service. Until the next time, then. Can I help you, miss? I suppose I'll take that as a compliment. My gods. How embarrassing. My eyesight isn't quite... Well, it often leads to moments like these. And... you're the librarian? At least for now. Someone needs to maintain these archives. The knowledge contained within this room is priceless. Guild or no guild. What are you saying? I'm telling you that the Mage's Guild has been disbanded. At least officially. The Emperor ordered Master Datton to dismantle the Guild 
or be brought up on charges for treason. Then who handles the guild's business? Well, nobody. For the first few months, people would come in looking for somebody to help them with their problems. After a while, they just stopped coming. We still receive letters all the time. People offering goods and auras to anyone willing to listen. I just started posting them on the board over there, hoping maybe someone will see them and offer a hand. Would you mind if I take a look? Of course not. I keep all the envelopes catalogued. If you take on any of their requests, come see me and collect any tributes in that chest over there. I think we'll be able to work something out. I don't know who you are, but you'd have done the Mage's Guild proud. Where did they all go? Many of them left for New Ashos, teaching at the university. Others went into hiding. They slip in from time to time. Not that I'd ever see them. Master Datton's allowed me to stay on and maintain the library. As a volunteer, of course. Where is Master Datton now? He comes and goes. These halls have been his home for decades. I don't think he can bring himself to leave it all behind. Why isn't anyone talking about this? You'd think they'd be concerned. Well, I don't exactly think they included it in our newsletter. I'll check the board. Certainly. Feel free to peruse the postings at your leisure.
must go to Japan. Actuality, old metallurgy, and crafting. Damn it. There always seems to be a few more of you to kill. Warned you. Hey.
<laughs> Good. What can I do for you? See you next time. And remember to stop by our other New shipment just Special offer today only. Try one of my new herbal products and earn 100 auras. What kind of herbal products?
I have an ointment that removes calluses, rendering the roughest hands as smooth as a maiden's. A cream for bed sores to help poor miners during long infirmary visits. And my most precious creation, the first affordable treatment for red death. All products are guaranteed. You try, I buy. For you, sir, I'll even pay 120. Interested? I'm willing to try one. That's the spirit. Within this chest, you'll find an assortment of my fine products. Simply give them a try, and my auras are yours. Do we have a deal? Not at the moment. Of course, of right here and right now. It should be a crime to pass on these bands. Do we have a deal? Not at the moment. Of course. Ow! Friends! It should be a service is unmatched. Become yet another satisfied customer. Excuse me. Nothing but the best wares. All priced to meet your financial needs. I'm sorry to bother you, but is everything all right? What? Oh, I'll be all right, but thank you. You sure? I... Uh... I came to my workshop today, only to find our assets had been frozen and our equipment seized by the city guard. Did they give you a reason? It seems my partner Stavon had been using our resources to assist an Imperial resistance group. They killed him and took everything. I'm left with nothing. How much would you need to get back on your feet? 1,500 auras would be enough to acquire some basic equipment and rehire a few of my craftsmen. But please, you don't need to indulge me. I've had many things taken away from me in my life, but nothing like this. This is a serious inquiry. How quickly do you think I could see a return on my investment? In a couple of days, maybe. Here's the money. Consider it an investment. Thank you so much. I'll make the arrangements right away. My name is Abbas, by the way. I, I didn't catch yours. I'd prefer to be more of a silent partner. Then forget I asked. 
The workshop is located on the road between here and Hatmandor. Come visit me in a few days and I'll show you around. I look forward to it. Oh. My fault. Where do you think you're going, scum? I apologize. Is there some kind of problem here? Atmandor is closed to outside. Get out of my sight before I arrest you for disturbing the peace. This better be good. I'm looking for someone. A guard named Valeran. Commander Valeran, city guard. Sorry, Commander. I've come a long way to handle some family business in Hapendor, but I was told to leave. I was hoping I might convince you to make an exception. It makes my investigation easier knowing everyone is in one place. You say you're new in town. If I had to guess, I'd say you were a merc. Retired. Mostly. Hmm. Maybe we can work something out. On a quieter day, I might have run you out of town. But most people looking for trouble don't bother coming to introduce themselves. The guards told me you're dealing with a murder. Three of them, all within the last two weeks. I managed to link it to a local criminal ring, but haven't been able to make anything stick. Hatman Door's a big place. The people here know my guards too well. We have an informant, someone within their ranks, had a meeting a few nights back. Except he never showed. Maybe the kid got scared. Maybe worse. But I can't afford to go looking for him without someone getting suspicious. I won't take that risk. Where should I start looking? His name is Jared. Lives on the east end of Chesnodar. I suggest you start there. And when I find him? Schedule another meeting. Same place. If he's still alive, that is. Come back when you're finished and we'll talk. Anything you can tell me about the murders? All three happened under unusual circumstances. One body was found in front of the victim's house. It fell from the second floor. Most would say he deserved it. Went by the name Gnarl. Used to brag about assaulting Imperial Verita transports. <laughs> Not the brightest. The second, Ranvel, was suspected of fencing illegal goods. Found him floating in an oil barrel when we raided his storehouse. Now here's the kicker. Old the beard. I know. Found dead while hosting a party in his own home. Fifty guests. No witnesses. Normally I'd say someone was doing me a favor. Had warrants for all of them. But murder is murder. It's only a matter of time before this turns into a much bigger problem for me. You understand? One of the locals mentioned an abandoned tower somewhere near town. Know anything about it? I thought you said you were here on family business. I'm sorry. Someone told me it was used by the Emperor. I... Listen, I think I've been pretty accommodating since you got here. I want to keep it that way. So I'll say this once. Stay away from that tower. You act like it's cursed. Could be. Let's just say that most people aren't lucky enough to get a warning. But if it'll keep you alive long enough to help me out, and if I decide to let you into my city, speak with Basil at the local inn. He's been telling the story so long, most assume he's just trying to scare off any tourists that won't tip. 
I should get started. Good. Find me when you're done. I guess I won't be able to fight my way past you. Why would you... I just have to ask. How'd you find me? Commander Valeran. He... Bastard. I knew he was dirty, but... Relax. Valeran just asked me to make sure you hadn't gotten yourself killed. Me? Killed? Me? Well, you can tell him I'm finished. That bastard has me asking questions to guys with more patches than eyes. Tell him he can start kicking down doors if he wants to take down Mirage. Mirage? Gods, he had to send a tourist. Mirage is the leader of one of Hatmendor's criminal underworld. We, they, have their hands in everything. Meaning? Meaning? The only way I'll get myself killed is if someone finds me talking with some crazy-looking bastard like you. Gods, you even smell like a guard. Sounds like the words of a coward to me. Look, I may not look like an ideal citizen, but I didn't sign up for this because of my sense of adventure. Why then? Money? My mother. She's sick. The Imperials run a mine not too far from here. Verita Crystals. The longer you're exposed to them, it's deadly. The only way to treat it is with the crystals themselves. I don't understand how it works, but the Imperials control it all. And Mirage controls the black market. Which is why most people either look the other way, or ask for a favor. Valeran's helping me. Until then, I'm helping you. If I wanted to get the medicine without asking Mirage... There's an Imperial warehouse on the west side of Chesnadar. They use it to treat the guards supervising the mines. You'll get the medicine. There's an entrance on the ground floor, but it's heavily guarded. There's another entrance, though. A trapdoor on the second floor. I don't even think the guards know about it. I don't know what Valeran's dangling over your head, but... Best of luck. The disease your mother has. Does it have a name? The Red Death. Maybe not, but it usually kills miners, not poets. It starts with a cough. Then there's blood. It gets worse from there. Your mother worked the mines? Everyone does. You don't own a business, know a trade, or lose a husband? I hear others aren't given much of a choice. How do you get this medicine? You don't. Not unless you become a guard or work for Mirage. Berida has become the most valuable mineral in Antolur, and it's all Imperial property. Anything else I should know about the storehouse? I'd recommend going after dusk. Less witnesses. And remember, if you get caught, we never met. Of course. I've heard there are people working against the Emperor in Hatmandor. You seem pretty well connected. And you seem to think that you can just walk up to anyone on the street and ask things like that without getting killed. That said, I wouldn't mention it to Valeran. 
He's been looking for the captain for months. The captain? That's what they call him. The leader of the resistance. People say he's camped out somewhere in the mountains, and not alone. If you're that determined, talk to Basil. He runs a place called Under the Influence in Hatmandur. Do you think he'd help me? Maybe. If you can get him to stop scaring the tourists long enough with his damn stories. Even loyalty has a price in Hatmandur. You'll learn that soon enough. I'm sure I will. We'll talk soon. Good luck. My mistake. Watch where you're going, son. I guess I won't be able to watch a man. Me? My mother. Which there's an entry. You don't. And you. That's what. Maybe. Good. 